Hello everyone, my name is General Fancy Pants, and welcome back to the Swapper. When we last left off, we went through Xena Research, and actually it was kind of a long... Now, you're looking for three solar maintenance modules. There should be one for each of the major control installations. I'm headed back to command. Have the panels detached by the time I get there. Okay, <laughs> it was kind of a long episode last time, so I kind of apologize for that. It was... It's not meaning for it to be as long as it was. Log number 17, Control Crew Bulletin. Watcher Sample Number 1, Important Operational Information. The Watcher Sample Number 1 was recently relocated to the Mind Science Laboratory. Access via the command deck is strictly limited to senior personnel. Control facilities and crews should be unaffected by the specimen's proximity. However, we understand concerns have been raised and seek to address these now. Sample number one is quickly, colloquially you know, referred to as the Head Watcher. In virtue of its unique physical appearance, and at present the research team has no robust explanation for it, current theories are focused on the possibility of an extinct humanoid species native to Cori 5, which may have carved these features into the rock tens of thousands of years ago. While it is true that tests so far have indicated that Sample 1 ha plays a different role in Watcher hierarchy compared to the smaller specimens, claims that it possesses greater intelligence or otherwise poses a threat remain unsubstantiated. Okay, and that was the big head we saw in the last episode. I kinda don't really know actually where I'm going right now. I know I'm probably doing this game way out of order, but that's just how it is. Asteroid excavation. All right, let's go in this way. And we've got a big uh, teleport machine. And we need 66, so we are not nearly close to doing that area. So again, I think I'm probably way out of order in this, so let's head back. If I can. As you can see, the ship map uh, changes depending on how you're oriented within the ship. So right now I'm like oriented this way, so the ship map has turned the long way rather than horizontally. So it's kind of kind of interesting how it does that. It took me a little while to figure that out actually, because I couldn't quite understand what it was, why I was doing, or why the map changed, or if I was even in the same spot anymore. I think what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to go back and do these teleport puzzles here. And uh, I think this is metaphysics is where this is going to take me. So these two are different puzzles. Or they lead to different puzzles. So right now it looks kind of confusing, but really it's not. The map helps tell you where you are. So I'm just going to take these and just kind of take them until I figure out where I am. <laughs> some of the minds have, have probed us, believed only the physical world. Some believed in something more. They never ceased arguing. Okay. I have been changed, as if the other minds like yours had a will that could cut through my own. All right, here we go. Log number 14, memo. Some watcher specimens are millions of years old, so it's fair to assume a high level of intellectual development. If they're telepathic as well, I think high, uh, if they're telepathic as well, I think Cori 5's indigenous species may be the universe's oldest, most powerful quantum computer, if we only knew the programming language. Okay. I suppose be given the uh, fact that they just are all one mind, I suppose that's why they think about that. There's another headstone, looks like, but not the head one. The other minds here are were always turning. They thought of the world as little as we do. 
Okay, so here's the one. This is what I was talking about before. These three are actually going to lead me to a different puzzle rooms. So I'm going to do these. So this is the first one. Okay, so this is going to be another one I'm assuming where we kind of have to do this sort of thing. I think. Though now we're out of <laughs> clones, so probably not. So let's try that again. So that one, we'll turn off that light. We can make a clone. But we won't be able to actually... Okay. Yeah, we can't make a clone until that light is... I suppose we're out of clones again. Yep. Huh. Um... Pleasant in here, I like it. It's nice and nice and soothing. I might come back to this room because I can't I can't quite figure out what I need to do. But I'll come back, I'll figure it out. But right now, I think... I've kind of been recording a bunch of these, so my mind is a little bit fried from all the puzzles, I think. Alright, so, what do we have going on here? Okay, so we need to get a clone down there. Alright, so that... And it'll slide back down. Okay, so we need a clone here. Alright. Oh, I see. Okay, yep. This one's a little bit easier than the other one, because this one, all we need to do... I think... Oh, that works. Okay. There. That was simple enough. I think it's interesting how some of these puzzles are like seemingly really, really difficult, and then other ones are really not hard at all, actually. So, log 13. Okay, at least we're getting back and getting all these uh, older logs. Log number 13. Watcher metaphysics. What do watchers know about the weather? With no physical senses with which to perceive the world, we have to, to ask what constitutes knowledge for a watcher? How do they conceptualize death? What do they know of the physical world? Watches must have had some conception of the natural physical forces. Watches must have some conception of the natural physical forces which cause them to move in and out of one another's detection range. 
Such forces may be inexplicable for them, but then the human race has had great success in understanding the physical world beyond its gaze. The Watchers have likely theorized, and they have had rather more time than us to get things right. Okay. So basically they just see things over and over and over again, and then eventually they... After, uh... Thinking about it long enough and theorizing and guessing, they actually got it right. Okay. Guessing this is too far of a drop. Yep. Alright, well, we're gonna need to get through there, so we have to do this. So that takes care of two clones right off the start. Can I make that jump? I can. Alright, so we cannot count well, no, we can't make a clone there. We're going to have to make a clone right there. And we're out of clones. How do I get that? That's kind of weird. Okay, so maybe that's what I need to do. No, that wouldn't make any sense. We only have two clones left, and we have to have one here and one here. But really, we only need one there for any permanent... Okay. Because we can and that takes care of the last clone. Okay. Because we can make a clone without the blue light there. And then we can work around the red one a little later when we actually figure things out. than I thought it was going to be. Uh, let's see. I guess the uh, memory terminal reset after I died.
Okay. Now we can make a swapper there, so now... We can't switch to him, which is kind of a... Oh, wait, wait. Yep, we can. Because now all I need to do is go like that. And then work it out so that I can just get barely to him. There we go. Alright, sweet. Yes. Alright. Alright, that takes care of that part, and we'll just open that up just to make sure we get credit for it. The only one we have left is this one, and I'm not sure what to do here, so... Um... Let me just work it out, see if I can work it out again. Something similar to what we kind of just did, or to have to do sometimes, where we make a bunch of clones. Hmm. I don't really know what that'll do. Not really much of anything, I guess. Let me go off camera. I'm going to see if I can work this out. And then when I come back, I will get through it. And I'll show you guys how to get through this one. Because I don't want to spend too much time just sitting here working it out for 45 minutes. <laughs> and making the... Because that's what we'll have to... Do. Okay, we're going to need... That's what we're going to need to get... To swap to him is we're going to need someone right here. I get yeah one second I'm going to go off camera I'm going to uh, or off screen and I'll see if I can figure this out one moment okay guys here I think I figured it out it took me a while but I think I figured it out so this top button here isn't the problem because that one we can make a we can make a clone at any point we want to as long as we can get up there anyway. What we need to do is this is the button that's really the problem down here because we need that blue light off so we can make a clone up there. So what we need to do is get a guy back here by doing it this way. Which it seems like a lot of puzzles are actually done this way, and I'm not sure why they chose to do that, but... Okay, I thought it was all out of clones. And then what we can do is... Get all of our clones back. Swap to that guy. Make a clone on this button. And swap to that, and we got it. I think that takes care of the metaphysics lab. So we can head back here. Check out the rest of those teleports. Man, that was a tough one. That took a long time. That was one of the hardest ones I've come across, and I know that there's even harder ones, so... The way of for the thought of the passage of day is the way day for the thought of the passage of the way. All right, whatever, man. T U V W X Y Z. Now I know your ABC. Won't you come and release me? 
A, B, C, D. Hmm. It's kind of... It's almost kind of sad in a way, actually. Because <laughs> it's basically... Doing what the humans want him to do, and then they won't re so that he'll be released. So these are so they obviously don't like being held captive. Okay, so there's a console right there. <clears throat> I think. This is the next spot, actually. Oh, no, it can't be. Unless this hatch is where I need to be. So I'm going to teleport to there, and then uh, in the next episode we will uh, continue on. With our exploration. So, just get up here first. This is a very interesting setup right here. And I know if I'm not careful I can dive because they're actually falling fast enough where death is a... is a possibility. So let's go into the no entry. I need 48 for that one, so we're missing something somewhere. I'm probably a little too far ahead and I really should be actually right here. Doing this hatch right here. So... Okay, but anyway, I'm gonna call it an episode right here. We'll fig I'll figure out what to go next and then uh, in the next episode. So, I'll see you guys next time on The Swapper. Until then.